it's lights out, and away we go. And Hamilton, I think, gets the better start ahead of his teammate Valtteri Bottas. Carlos Sainz, great reaction from him. He's up in the second place. Bottas in third. Perez on the inside. Lando Norris now gets ahead of Sergio Perez. It is Hamilton that leads them into the first chicane, and he could come out of that first chicane. Well, it does with a McLaren behind, and that is Alex Albon getting it all wrong in that first chicane and losing places as a result. Charles Leclerc on the inside of Kimi Raikkonen and looking for a gap that soon disappears. So Max Verstappen having a poor start, brilliant from both of the Mercedes. They're fighting over, and look at that, Mr. McLaren then, second and third now. It is, Lando Norris squeezes past Valtteri Bottas, who might yet lose out to Sergio Perez on the inside, as through the Lesbos we go. Hamilton from Sainz, from Norris, from Bottas, who maintains that fourth position. After that comes Perez and Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen and Stroll. Bottas wide in the second Lesbo, what a dismal first lap he's having. And the pressure might have just taken its toll on Valtteri Bottas. He is dropping down the field and Daniel Ricciardo is now attacking him, going into the Ascari chicane and Valtteri Bottas is down to sixth. And Sebastian Vettel under pressure from George Russell who wanted to get racing with the Ferraris. Oh, and Sebastian Vettel goes straight through the polystyrene blocks. Brakes failed. Kevin Magnussen going very slowly indeed and pulling over to the side of the track. Oh, something uh, broke. The safety car itself is being deployed, so not just a virtual safety car, but the safety car itself. But it closes the pack up nicely. Yes. I so much prefer a proper safety car. Oh, staying out, Carlos Sainz. That's and interesting. Is Lando and Norris Lando staying, Norris out? staying yes. out? Then that means you've got oh, a very I'll tell slow you why, lap. the pit lane entry is now closed. Pit lane entry was closed at 15.41, the same time as the safety car was deployed. Uh, is Lewis Hamilton in a bit of trouble? I mean, it makes sense from a strategic point of view. Safety car, you go and pit, but if it says it's closed, you can't go and get your tyres changed. So the pit lane entry is now clear. You can see Lando Norris locking up there uh, as he comes into the pit lane. And this is a, a test for the McLaren pit crew. Out goes Carlos Sainz, very nice indeed, but the job's not done yet because here comes Lando Norris and out goes Lando Norris ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. We're racing again, and it is lap 24 of this Italian Grand Prix, and Charles Leclerc is putting Kimi Raikkonen under pressure behind Antonio Giovinazzi. He's got past Raikkonen. He might clear two alphas in about 300 metres here, and he does, Charles Leclerc. He picks off Raikkonen and picks off Giovinazzi as well. Nicholas Latifi are just holding up. Danny Ricciardo, and that's Charles Leclerc. And that is a very big accident, and we've seen a brake failure from his teammate Sebastian Vettel and we have just seen a huge accident at the Parabolica involving Charles Leclerc as well. Are you okay? Yeah, it was a big crash. Ah. He's lost the back end of the car under acceleration. We're red flagging the race. The impact of that Ferrari into the tyre barrier at Parabolica has meant that those tyre barriers now need to be repaired. Lewis Hamilton has a 10-second stop-go penalty. Lewis Hamilton is now going to have to come into the pits, stop for 10 seconds, and then go back out again. Lights out, and away we go again here at Monza. Lewis Hamilton gets a very good start then. Already Giovinazzi is looking to get past Pierre Gasly. There's Kimi Raikkonen on the inside. Lance Stroll has dropped back a couple of places. Carlos Sainz is looking to make up a place around the outside. Lando Norris is being pushed almost by Valtteri Bottas and by Daniel Ricciardo. But Hamilton through the curve of Grande. Away he goes from Gasly and Raikkonen. Giovinazzi with Stroll on the inside trying to get that place back. Then comes Sainz and then comes Norris and pulling over to the outside. There goes the for Romeo, but Gasly just stays all oh, where he needs to be, and that looks like Lance Stroll could have had a brake problem. Those brakes were smoking on the uh, grid, but he went straight onto the chicane there. Very lucky not to collect the car in front. Just got too deep on the brakes. The brake problem where the front uh, wheels were locked up. So Lance Stroll, did he make a place up there? He certainly lost one quickly anyway. But Raikkonen looking incredibly racy, isn't he? The old man of the grid really going for it. He's come alive as Kimi Raikkonen on those soft compound tyres. Now Carlos Sainz pulls over to the left-hand side and Lance Stroll around the outside of the Ascari chicane is ahead of Carlos Sainz. Stroll is fifth, Sainz is sixth. 
Hamilton then comes into the pits. Pierre Gasly for Alpha Tauri in their home race leads the Italian Grand Prix from the Alfa Romeo of Kimi Raikkonen in second. Giovinazzi running in third at the moment ahead of Sainz and Stroll and Norris Bottas, Ricardo Ocon and Fiat in tenth. They're retiring the car, Crofty. I think they are. After six consecutive podiums, Max Verstappen is out of this race and out of the car as well. Carlos, you can be patient with Raikkonen. You can be patient. More worried about Gasly. One at a time, Carlos. One at a time. Well, here comes the first one. Carlos Sainz is going through with Kimi Raikkonen, who gives him enough space and just enough space. And Sainz moves up into second place. Raikkonen fought that very hard indeed, but left just enough for Carlos Sainz to move past. Here comes Lance Stroll on Kimi Raikkonen. Lance Stroll is going to have to go the long way round at the second chicane. Kimi Raikkonen jams on the brakes. They get within millimetres of touching. And Lance Stroll at the second chicane passes Kimi Raikkonen. The racing point is back up into the podium places. It's Gasly, Sainz and Stroll. The 1-2-3 in this dramatic Italian Grand Prix. Danny Kriat is under pressure with Lewis Hamilton and Hamilton is ahead now and up into eighth place ahead of the other Alpha Tari. Hamilton's gone from the back up into eighth place. It is last lap shenanigans here at Monza. And whilst the engine mode regulations mean that things have to stay the same between qualifying and the race, when it comes to the last lap, you can dump as much electrical energy as you want to give you more pace. And good power then, good traction now there for Gasly. But we've got DRS on board the McLaren as we are at the moment. It'll be very close, but I doubt close enough. So it's going to be a slipstream then down to Parabolic and off the last corner. But the Alpha Tower has got great traction. Pierre Gasly is in front for the Alpha Tauri team that won here as Toro Rosso and they are going to win in 2020 as Alpha Tauri. Pierre Gasly wins the Italian Grand Prix. Oh my, oh my, is that just wonderful. Carlos Sainz comes home for second place and what a great fight he gave. Lance Stroll completes the podium places. David beats Goliath. What a great day for Formula One this is. Yep, for Mercedes today, uh, the race was just a bit ghastly. Uh, for the winner, it was just pure ghastly. Well done, Pierre. The Italian Grand Prix, it's a home win for Alpha Tauri.